Hi, this is Ann Pirate with Capital Chaos TV. I am at Assembly Sacramento, and I'm sitting with Todd and Brian of Dog Fashion Disco. We're very excited. I'm excited. I'm going to ask them how they're feeling. We're going to talk about them playing, being back together. Um, I think they've got a new album coming out, so we're going to pick their brain and find out what's going on in the world of these amazing duo right here, two of the members of the awesome band. So please tell me, what's going on, man? How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. That's it. Just good. I'm, yes. And you? Well, that's a wrap. <laughs> um, I'm, I, I feel well, too. Good to be in California. It's been, uh, it's been about a year or so, for me, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, is this your guys' first tour in eight years? This is our first tour in eight years, yeah. Do, yeah. Does, it, does it feel like a lot of pressure, saying yeah. it out loud? Like, eh? Well, I mean, we, we played so many shows, it's... It, we have a love affair with this band. That's yes. why we brought it back. So, I mean, it's it's like it's like shagging an old girlfriend, you know. <laughs> so, here we go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. So, you've been around since '95. You've disbanded, reunited, back and forth, and now here we are today. You're touring. Where were you at that point in your life where you're like, you know what? We're getting the band back together. Like, how did you know? Um. It was kind of weird because I started playing with Todd and Jason in Polka Dot, uh, just doing some fill-in work, mm -hmm. and that was like a year and a half ago, and I thought it was going to be one show, and like 50 shows later, and then <laughs> at a reunion show last year, he announced on stage that we were doing another record, and that's the first I heard of it, so I was like, oh, okay. I mean, they know me to the point where they're, it, they asked me to do anything, even if I can't, it ends up happening somehow. Mm -hmm. And I ended up getting ruined for it in one way or another, but it always happens. So if you would have said a year ago that we would be... Actually, I think I heard the plan was, we're going to do a record of like a two-week tour. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then that would be it. Mm -hmm. You know? Cool. And, uh, but yeah, so it's full swing again. It's great, but it's, uh, it's yeah, it's crazy. It's kind of surreal. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. So now are you guys going to solely focus just on this um, band, or are you guys going to do some other side projects? Well, we always have Polka Dot Cadaver mm -hmm. that's there. Um, we're going to do some shows with that band um, this year before, before the year runs out. Um, we're going to go on tour with uh, Bam Margera, his band, um, national tour. Uh, starting in mid-October, something like that. Um, and we're going to be doing some August dates with him as well. But it's so it's like it's two bands that are, you know, working and hitting the road. And, I mean, Polka Dot Cadaver's newest record came out, you know, not too long ago, within, it, within a year. So, I mean, we're always in the studio or on the road. So, I mean, once the tour cycle ends for this year, we'll be back in the studio for the second DFD record um, in December. Of nice. this year, so nice. what? So next, that'll come out probably in May of next year, and then we'll be back out on the road, you know, and uh, always keeping busy, always making new music, always touring, you know. All right, I wanted to touch a little on that. That you guys did a Indiegogo, um, kick, basically a Kickstarter, and you asked your fans for a certain amount, and you got your request fulfilled within 24 hours. Yeah. Like, how does that feel? It feels great. It feels it's a validation that people out there, you know, want the band to to be back and uh, we we kept setting stretch goals and it was like 40,000 boom we got it 50,000 boom we got it 60,000 boom we got it next thing you know it's almost $90,000 um within 40 days and it was I mean they spoke you know yeah. so um which is great I mean uh to have people still for a band that's been defunct for eight years not touring not making any music People haven't forgotten about it, and, you know, we're out on the road. There's great crowds every night. Um, you know, there's renewed interest in just the band being back together and, and rocking on, you know? So oh, yeah, man. It's, it's, when, it's great. When you make an impression with music, we never stop looking to see what you're doing and where you're at. Yeah. You know, that's, that's just what it, the beauty of it. All right, so let's talk about the new album, uh, Sweet Nothing. So you said it's going to be out in May of next year? No, 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 no. That. So, Sweet Nothings will be out July 22nd. But of this year. Okay. But with the Kickstarter campaign, we hit a stretch goal of like seventy thousand. We were like, we'll put out two albums within one year. Ah, so which was that the comes, that comes, which was the covers. Were you gonna do a CD? No, it's 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 all original material. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that is the tentative title would be nothing sweet, 
you get why. Um, so that would be out May, June of next year, and then, you know, maybe we'll be talking again this time next year. So All right. planning another national tour next year, whatever else happens, um, you know, whatever shows come our way, whatever tours come our way, we'll take them. And um, it'll probably, we like to, to be off the road in the winter because mm-hmm. we don't like sliding sideways down icy oh, streets yeah. in, in oh, Des Moines, yeah. Iowa. Yeah. We, we did some shows with Polka Dot December of last year before every you know before we went home for the holidays and we were literally sliding sideways down the highway in des moines iowa and we were like all right so we like we like to tour in the spring in the summer and fall and and after that it's it's album time so all right so how has touring been i know that you guys are known for your content and and the the verbiage but then now you're stuck with psycho stick and the bunny and the bear how has it been touring with those two groups people Bunny and the Bear are maniacs <laughs> in a very good way. They're they're very yeah. good people, but yeah, they're they're fun and they like the party. Yeah, you know. So, uh, <laughs> um, Psycho Stick are just like brothers. They're the nicest guys in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, we did a tour with them with Polka Dot, which is how we got affiliated with them, and then we asked them to come out and do this, and, and it's just it couldn't be going any better. I mean, yeah, it's really, it's it's been great. It's been great. Um, so it's been good, you know, and. Being that it's 10 years later and, like, you know, a couple of us have calmed down quite a bit, it's just interesting, you know, because we don't, it's not a party anymore. It's yeah. it's work. It's work. It's yeah. it's business. It's we all have mortgages and, mm-hmm. fa- and people. Kids. Yeah, <laughs> kids and, and families and dogs and, you know, girlfriends and fiancés. And, and it's, well, most of us. And um, some of us. And uh, it's, that's good, though. You know, um, it's. It, it's just different. It's it's with the view of it again be more like it's okay. It's more solid work now, mm-hmm. you know, and like I can't play like I used to, and which is fine. Yes. Cause play play is in party. Like party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Not as in rock out. Oh no. no Basically, no, no, no. what he's saying is he doesn't drink anymore. But I mean, <laughs> please. <laughs> we party, we just don't drink. Yeah. All right, so ultimately, what do you want for your band? What do you want to be most remembered for? What's your ultimate goal? Uh, I guess not having crap music. Um, I think that I think that we got some pretty cool songs. <laughs> I think that yes. we put out some pretty cool yeah. albums. Um, we, uh, we definitely want to, you know, grow the, the DFD Polka Dot Cadaver family, um, which is so dedicated, um, and we just want to play, and we want to have more fans, and you know, more success, like anyone wants to have in whatever job they do. So, um, I mean, we have such a good time doing it. You know, if um, it's it's just it's the best job ever. You know, it's it's great. So that's awesome. So you should definitely come and check out them on tour, Dog Fashion Disco either on tour at a town near you find them online and make sure to look for that new album coming out in July very very excited and thank you gentlemen the order is available now razortowrist.com July 19th is our CD release party for anybody in around Baltimore mm-hmm. we're doing it at a place called the Auto Bar uh, the record comes out July 22nd and uh, Sweet Nothings Dog Fashion Disco yeah thank yes. you Dog Passion Disco, this is Capital Chaos TV. Thank you so much, and we're out. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes, you! This is public access, Channel 18, and you infidels are demeaningly watching the only cool thing on TV right now. It is Capital Chaos! Hello, human scum! This is Odorous Sharungus commanding you to continue watching Capital Chaos! They support guar and anal rape and all kinds of wonderful things. Chaos. 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 Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos TV. Motherfucker.